Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Today we have a, not really an unboxing, but we do have something to unwrap. And as you can see in front of me, I have the portable pit box, the pink limited edition version. And uh, this one's actually cheaper than the gray one. So that's why I got this color. And it used to have other colors, but those are out of production. And this one is 95547. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, about 2,600 yen. Um, retails for about 35 US dollars, which is where I live in the US, California. So let's go ahead and see how this thing unfolds. As you can see, there's two compartments here, and here's the interlocking device for the front cover. Basically, the front cover is a toolbox or for small parts, and they give you the handles and the locking mechanism to hold uh, the handle in place comes with uh, instructions on how to assemble it. So it's just one sided portable pit. And of course you get these little trays that you can slide in. So now we have two levels here and I would assume the bottom is the same, which is already assembled. And if I were to slide this out, then these two sections will detach. And you can put them on top of each other back again. Doesn't matter. They're both the same. Now what's really cool about these is that this is minimal spacing design where it's vertical um, and you adjust the camera and you can fit all sorts of things in it. You can fit the aluminum setting board, you can put in the mini 4WD box with the car inside. There's actually more room inside for the box, so it does wiggle a little bit. Here's another box. Japan Cup, 30 years. So you can fit four cars. And you can fit a lot of tools and parts in these little boxes. Just be careful that this does not topple over. But yeah, there you have it. I'm not gonna assemble the handles just yet. But there you have it. That is the portable pit box by Tamiya. And I hope you like this uh, quick review unpackaging video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this content, and I'll create more for you. So actually I decided to install the handles. Let's see how this works. So according to the instructions, you just put these into the slots here. And then you slide this in. It snaps in. Yep, 
that's it. That's very simple. It, there's these little rails that these pink handlebars go into. And so now when I lift it, it's all secure. So now when I want to attach it back to the bottom part, I just do the same thing with these pink pieces, locking mechanisms, slide it through the rails. It's kind of like the Nintendo Switch rails. Snaps into place. And there you have it. Now these two are locked together. And to put this to put this back in the bottom, you gotta put this tab into the slot here. And then slide this to lock it. And same for the top. So it's very simple, very easy, doesn't take up much space. Yeah, there you go.